Hello guys and welcome back to Life with Polly. I'm currently outside with my dog Annabelle. As you can see here, she got her new ducky toy. I got this for her a couple days ago. I'm surprised she didn't rip it up yet. Anyways, I wanted to give everybody an update today. I'm doing very well. This is going on my third month now living in my 2007 Saturn Ion. If you don't know, I moved out of my apartment in Rome, New York, which is a couple hours away from my daughter's house. I moved to my daughter's house, not inside her house, but I live in my 2007 Saturn Ion, and I park on her land that she has here. She rents this house for $900 a month, but she's got a, quite a bit of land here, and I do use her power from the shed to power on my fan, charge up my phone, and things like that. I do give her money towards her electric bill because her and her husband work very hard for their money. So I don't believe in using anybody or getting help from anybody unless I'm paying for it myself. So today is a dreary day. It's currently August 8th and it is about 1 o'clock p.m. And as you can see here, it's kind of dark out again today because, of course, it rained again this morning. It was kind of funny because my daughter was here outside sitting with me until she had to go to work. And right before she left for work, my daughter said, oh, it's sunny. It's not going to rain. And as soon as she left for work, a dark cloud came over and it started pouring. It's not pouring now, but it's supposed to rain a little bit later. Tomorrow, I guess it's not supposed to rain. Of course, as you can see here, this is the land that she got. She rents this house for $900 a month. But she does have a lot of land and a lot of grass. And as you can see, it's really long. It's really green and really healthy, but it's really long. And I can't help her mow it because it's all wet. And it continues to be wet because it's been raining almost every day here in New York. Now, if you don't know, uh, my daughter lives in Coxsackie, New York, which is by the Catskill Mountains. She's got a lot of land. And I just love it out here. The dog loves it out here. She loves to be outside in the grass, rolling the grass, playing the grass. And I just love it for her. It's more of a place for her to be. And I just love that she gets the freedom that she deserves. So this is going on my third month now staying in the car. Um, it will be three months this month. Um, the end of this month will be a total of three months I stayed in the car. Um, and I'm doing pretty well. I want to know how you guys are doing and what you guys are doing for the summertime. As for me, I've been just sitting around with the doggy and enjoying the weather, except for the dang rain, people. Rain, rain, rain in New York. It's been raining in New York for a long time now, almost every day, and it's pretty soaked out here. Anyways, I've been doing pretty good. I have saved some money for a van. However, there are some things that I do have to get for my car. If you want to know why I moved out of my 2000, out of my apartment into my 2007 Saturn Ion, you can go back and watch those videos. If you are here for reselling videos, I have a lot of reselling videos on my channel that have been up for years, and they will stay on there, and they are still consistent consistent with today's reselling so if you're looking for questions to be answered about facebook usps craigslist whatever the case may be if you're a reseller all you have to do is go to my regular channel go to playlist and you will see my facebook playlist my craigslist playlist and my ebay playlist i do have a lot of videos that will teach you how to start reselling if you don't know i used to be a reseller um, but I did close my eBay store a couple years ago. Now, when I started reselling, I started off with $100, and I amassed over $25,000 worth of product on eBay to resell. So if you think you can't do it, you can do it. Now, it took me about a year, but like I said, I only started off with $100, and after a year, I was top-rated power seller on eBay, and I had over $25,000 worth of product listed. If you would like to learn how to do that, you can go back and watch my reselling videos. They are all there. If there's something there that you need answered that is not answered, you can always comment on one of my videos and I will comment right back. So anyways, this month I had to re-register my car. So my registration is good for another two years now. 
Now, I've been saving money for a van, and I was going to take a trip after I saved money for a van and after I got my new van. But I think I'm going to take a trip with my car once more before I get rid of it um, and buy a van to turn into my tiny home. And the reason being is because I just re-registered it for two years. And this month coming up in September, I have a doctor's appointment. I have to travel to my hometown because I did not switch doctors or anything like that. I have to travel to my hometown, which is about two hours away from here, Kuksaki, New York. And I have to go to my regular doctor's appointment and get my prescriptions refilled. Usually I have a regular doctor's appointment about every four months, so I figured just keep it out where I used to live, which is a couple hours away. Um, and I need to refill my prescriptions and see my regular doctor um, for my heart issues. And I also have to get my car inspected in September before it runs out. So I think the end of September, the beginning of October, I'm going to make a trip to see my aunt in Pennsylvania. She lives in Levittown, PA, which is about three and a half hours away from where I'm at right now. I did make one trip when my mother was alive. My mother died in February of 2022 of cancer. Um, it was a great loss to me and her sister. My aunt lives in Pennsylvania. Me and my mom and her boyfriend traveled out there. My brother's dad traveled out there um, one time when she was alive, and it was a five and a half hour drive from where we were at. But now, since I'm down at my daughter's house, it is about two hours closer. So it's only a three and a half hour drive for me. So I think the beginning of October, me and the doggy are going to make the trip to Levittown, PA to visit my aunt. I think I'm going to stay there a couple months because I still will be able to save money. Um, I might give my aunt some money towards her rent or her bills, whatever the case may be, but I'm going to still be saving money while I'm out there visiting her. I really don't have to pay anything if I go stay with her for a couple months to visit, but I will give her money towards her bills because I'm the kind of person that don't like to take help from anybody, and if I can help them out, I will do so. I will still be able to save money even if I give her a few hundred dollars a month to stay out there for a couple months um, with the puppy. I figured to travel in October because I know it's going to be cooler out. Right now it's cool out, but like I said, I got to get the car inspected in September and stuff like that. Plus, I need to get two more new tires in the front before winter time. So I figured because I'm doing all that, I'm going to make the trip to PA and go visit my aunt for a couple months and then come back. Once I come back into New York, then I will start looking for a van, purchase a van to turn into my tiny home. But for now, I think it's important for me to go visit family, especially because I lost my mom. It's been over a year now, but I still miss her very, very much. She was 71 years old. Um, she had stage four lung cancer and she got worse um, in January of 2022. And she ended up getting cancer in her spine and her liver and things like that. Um, then in February, well, the end of January, January 25th or somewhere around there, she ended up getting even worse. And then she ended up passing away in February of 2022. Um, my Aunt Nancy did come down from PA three days before she died. And I got to see my aunt and my cousins from PA. Um, but that was the last time I seen them, so I would like to go out there, and I know my aunt loves to go to the casino, so I'll probably be going to the casino with her. Hopefully, maybe I could spend maybe $100 and maybe win a few thousand dollars, and then I wouldn't have to save so much for a van. I could just buy it with the casino money. I did that one time. I went to the casino one time years ago, and I won a couple thousand dollars, and I ended up buying a car with it, so wish me luck. Hopefully... Maybe I can win a couple thousand and then put that towards the van that I want to buy and to turn into my tiny home. And I will be making videos of that also. Also, my daughter's birthday is coming up. She lives here in this house. She pays $900 a month for rent. I think I might have already say, said that. I do give her money towards her electric bill because I do use the power from her shed to power a fan on in my car and things like that because I haven't bought a power station yet. Um, or solar panels, but I'm going to be doing that when I get a van. I'm going to buy a power station and solar panels. 
um, so I don't have to use anybody's power. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think I deserve a vacation, especially after my mom passing away. And since I've been sitting around here all day, every day, I mean, I go to the store, I go do my laundry, I clean my car and things like that. So I try to keep busy during the day. Um, but I've been trying not to spend any money to save towards a van. But maybe I'll go to PA and maybe I'll go to the casino with my aunt and end up winning quite a bit. And then I don't have to worry about saving all this money. I could just buy a, you know, buy a car with some of the money I win and some of the money that I save. Um, but anyways, yes, it's my daughter's birthday in two days, which is kind of crazy because she's going to be 31. It is my oldest daughter. I have three daughters, but my oldest daughter, she's 31. Her birthday is August 10th. She was born in 1992, so it's going to be her birthday coming up. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing anything with her or not. She might be going on vacation again because I know she took a few days off. She has Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, so she has like four days off. Um, she might be going somewhere with her husband. I'm not sure yet. Um, I might be doing something with her, but if not, you know, she deserves to have as much fun as she can. Um, her and her husband work hard for their money, and I'm just grateful that um, they're doing well and doing good. Um, they just got married not too long ago, um, but I can't believe she's going to be 31. I am currently 48. I will be 49 in September. If you don't know, my daughter was born a month before I turned 18. So I was 17 years old. My daughter was born, and then I turned 18 a month after. She was born August 10th, and I had my 18th birthday on September 6th. So she will be having a birthday coming up here. I do feel very old, especially because my daughter is now 31. It's just crazy. Um, and then I will be 49 in September. It's just nuts how time flies by. I guess we're all getting old. Um, I know one day that time will come. My time has come quite a few times almost. And, you know, I'm just trying to enjoy the rest of my life. Trying to be close by family. And I think that's why I'm going to take that trip to see my aunt and my cousins in PA. I think it will be fun and relaxing and it will give my puppy a different environment and something to do. So if you like this video and you want to see my transformation of the van when I do get the van, um, you will see that because I will be doing videos on that. I know I don't do very many videos of my car, but I've already filmed on how I got my car set up and what it looks like inside if you would like to know that. Go back and watch my previous videos. I don't want to keep on filming the same videos over and over. Um, I know people get tired of that. But I guess Annabelle here is trying to go to sleep on the wet grass. Hey, Annabelle, are you on the wet grass? What are you doing on the wet grass? Where's your toy? <laughs> She's so cute. I just love her to death. If I didn't have her, I don't know what I would do. She loved my mom to death, too. Um, I know she misses her a lot. Um, but she's pretty used to where we're staying now, and she loves being next to my daughter. My daughter comes out every morning and sits with us before she goes to work, and then she gives her treats. So she will always look forward to those treats. But, yeah, I just love her to death. I'm glad I got somebody to cuddle with and spend time with, um, especially when I'm all alone. If you don't know, dogs are a man's best friend. And I could tell you right now, she has helped with my depression and my anxiety and my stress and helped me with being lonely. Um, with, with her, I'm not lonely at all. If I ever lost her, which I know one day she will be gone, but, you know, will I get another dog? Probably because I love her to death and she means the world to me. And I just would be so lost without my puppy, Annabelle. Um, but anyways, I don't want to make this video too long. I know it's already 14 minutes long, and you probably didn't stay for all the video. And if you didn't, well, I don't know then. But if you like this video and you want more videos, please hit the subscribe button down below. I do have a shorts playlist, too, where I post shorts of my puppy here, Annabelle playing and things like that so if you like to watch shorts pets 
Go on over to my regular channel, click on my playlist, and you will see the shorts playlist. And you can watch videos of my dog here, Annabelle. I know a lot of people like animals and to watch animal videos. So go check that out. And like I said, if you're a reseller and want some reselling videos, go check out my reseller playlist. And I will see you in my next video.